Hi guys, this is Stefan Zamit from NeuroFX.com and in this video series, we're going to have a look at the Character Animation Explainer Toolkit and all the features that are packaged with it. So, once you download your folder, make sure that you first extract it or unzip it so that you can see all the folders in here. It is very important to extract it before you start using it since the project won't be able to use the folders properly if they are not extracted. So, if we have a look at these folders now, we can see that first we have the characters, then we have the animation presets, and in here we have the scene designer. You also have the help videos in here, and you also have the user guide. So let's jump in with the characters, and in here you can see all the characters that you have included. Very nice selection. And over here at the bottom, we can see character assets. Now, the character assets are basically images that you can use for clothing, etc. And we'll have a look at that at a later stage when we are explaining how to customize your clothes. Here we have the character image gallery. And this is basically a gallery of all the characters that you can use. So you can check them right here before you open them up in After Effects. So this is a very nice practical way to view the characters that are included. Now, if we jump back to the main folder. Here we can find the animation presets. And if we have a look at that, in here we can find the animation presets themselves. And in here we have, can find a preview for them. So this is also a preview for them. You have the character animations and then you also have the object animations. And if we jump right in here, you can see all the animations sorted in their own category. So if we, for instance, go to run, we can find that we have previews of run start, run loop and run end. So let's open one of them and see how that looks. So in here you can preview all your animations like this and you have all the 200 animations in this folder. So let's jump back to the main folder and finally we have this scene designer which we will use to construct our scenes and this is basically an After Effects project that is loaded with image assets of objects etc that you can use and we'll have a look at that at a later stage as well. Finally, the user guide, we really recommend that you go through this if you have any issues, since we have put in our effort in this to make it as helpful as possible. So that's basically it. Let's jump in the next video to see the installation of the project.